Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to work on this dashboard app. What we will do is we, will, we are going to create some pages and we are going to create a navigation like restaurant, orders and payments. So this is simple login. I already have all my services up and running like I need to have a proxy, user management service, restaurant service, all the service up and running to have this thing running because uh, this dashboard app is talking to talking to uh, my authentication service so if I don't have those services enabled the proxy and authentication it won't work and here I can see there are three menu items I have created on the left new bar restaurant orders and the payments so how it really works currently is when you click on to the dashboard it will take you to the dashboard if you are logged in if you are on the sign in then it will take you to the dashboard page so I did some dirty checking I will try to refactor this code what I'm trying to do is on the home page I'm checking if you are on the if you try to move to the dashboard if user already have a session then it will take you to the dashboard page otherwise it will take you to the sign in page similarly we can have a same uh, conditional check on the dashboard page if user doesn't exist like user session doesn't exist then take I will take you to the sign in page so when you click a forward slash it will take you to the sign in if you are not logged in otherwise it will take you to just to, it will allow you to render the home page so it, let's remove this so currently I'm logged in so it is taking me to the dashboard page so let's see if I do a logout then we can just check all these conditions so this is just like a, just another way of doing the navigation checks if you are not logged in if you don't have a session exist then you cannot navigate to the private protected routes right you cannot go to some private path which is allowed only if you are currently logged in so okay, let's say we can also check by logout so i i am redirected to the sign in page and on the home page i am being redirected to the sign in page but still this is not the the right or what you can say is exact solution because you can see the flicker is happening it is redirecting you are actually navigating to that page and then there is some uh, code checks are happening and then you are actually redirecting to the another page so this is what we are doing so there is a dashboard page that is a private route so inside a dashboard we are creating uh, orders payments and the restaurant right because these are the three major entities we are going to track through this dashboard like how many restaurants you have how many each restaurant uh, menu items which you can update delete and all uh, so that the same can be reflected on the end user panel so there is a dashboard restaurant restaurant menu orders how many orders has been placed for a particular range and then the pay payouts or payments uh, like how much you are receiving as a payouts so let's create a folder because here what we are going to do if here what we are going to do is uh, we just have the restaurant as a folder right now inside a restaurant I just created a page.tsx so when you hit a forward slash dashboard forward slash restaurant it is going to render the page.tsx similarly there are three folders orders payment and the restaurant in the dashboard so for all the three we have this navigation like when you click on to the order it will render dashboard order and page.tsx similarly we have in the payment page.tsx so this is how these components will render so I will just copy paste and will try to put something as a uh, some dummy content some dummy gsx so that when I render to the orders or the payments I should be able to render these components these are the client only components because they are not doing much it is using hooks to fetch the data and then we are checking the user session so here we have a restaurant page uh, the payments page and the order page we also need to define the layouts for the restaurant pages so currently this is how it looks like and you can see I just uh, placed some dummy content on the uh, the restaurant I mean just uh, card components and that is being repeated two to three times if you click on to the uh, rest order then you can see it is rendering the order because I put somewhere order in the GSX similarly when you hit a net next one it will render that okay 
so what we are going to do here is uh, you can see i will just rename it to the orders restaurants and the payments okay now we are going to fix that the new links it should be dashboard payment dashboard orders and dashboard uh, restaurants these are the three links we have on the left new bar and now if i just try to reload the page i do see that and now i can uh, navigate okay so these are the like uh, templates these are just like a same dummy gsx i have for all the three components order payments and the restaurants so restaurant is actually used to create a restaurant manage the existing restaurant or adding a menu item to the restaurant so the thing is how can we achieve this how can we refactor the code where we are checking your okay user session doesn't exist talk go to the sign in page if user session doesn't exist if exist go to the dashboard page because here we can use a middlewares next is middlewares are something which will execute before the processing of any particular page so that's a good have options and it will not uh, show the flicker of the transition it won't show the different urls getting updated uh, from the browser so we can have a next js middleware that middleware will check that middleware will check okay user has access to the particular resource or not right so that's what we are going to do here uh, we are going to create a middleware.ts so we are going to create that inside uh, okay there is a app folder i will just remove this thing so what we are doing is the previous checks which we have added based on the session we will remove that and we will check the user session based on the jwt token which has been uh, which is available at the client only components so middleware will check if session exists then it will allow you to render otherwise it will send you the custom uh, templates okay if user session doesn't it doesn't exist then go to the login page okay and this is a middleware which i am creating so the, what is the role of a middleware here middleware is actually nothing but uh, some custom processing like okay these are the private routes these are the protected routes and what i want is if these are the public routes allow them to render but if it is a private route then uh, check if uh, you have a, if you can access those private routes then only you can access like dashboard dashboard you can only access when you are logged in otherwise you can't access dash dashboard so the, the with authorization takes two argument the middleware and the path which are secured which are protect which we wanted to protect so we have already placed a dashboard here and you can see in the dashboard middleware code with authorization we are taking a two argument middleware and the require auth that is a string of all the path parameter and using this uh, async function what we are doing is we are getting the path name checking the path name is a part of uh, the uh, passed argument which is the required auth string array if it is true then we have to get the token we can just call the get token uh, pass the request and the secret value so based on that you will get the token and once you have the token you can do a custom things if you don't have a token that means you cannot log in and then you will just redirect user to the sign in page okay so what is happening is if you are logged in if we got the token that means you are logged in and we will just allow you to access this so if token is null then it will become true it is just creating a sign in url and then setting the callback url to that url and then the next response dot redirect url so once you so this this is going to decide which route path to allow or which which route path to block okay so currently we are dashboard and here if i just see i, I have removed the old code which is checking the the user session and redirecting so now we don't have it so here i will just try to log in and you can see this callback url because you are not logged in so you redirected to the login page and login will save your callback url like your origin okay 
So this is how it works. Now this is actually middleware is being called. If a token is not there, then obviously we need to take you to the sign in page because all the other because the whole app is uh, protected. There is nothing above as, as such as public. Okay, so we are just calling this and uh, here we are just checking with this middleware. If this path start with the path which uh, is there and then if path is match, then we can just process it. So here you can see this inside this middleware, we are doing lots of things. And dashboard is actually the private route we have. Here you can add the, this is an array of string. Okay. This middleware will do the pre-processing. If everything is fine, then it will call. Uh, I mean, it will access. So if uh, next auth session exists, that means allow user to access that particular page. If it doesn't exist, then allow user to uh, send it to the login page, sign in page where user can enter uh, email and the password can, and can enter into the platform. So now we can uh, test this thing, uh, the router stuff, like if I'm trying to go to the forward slash, it is taking me to the sign in. When you're trying to access the dashboard, when you're not, not logged in, it uh, uh, it is taking me to the sign in page. So I need to log in first. And once you are doing login, the callback page is the dashboard. So we have arrived to the dashboard page. I did log out and the sign in. So it also works. We can sign in using username password also. So this is uh, with authorization what we are performing. If path name is forward slash. So here I've, we have added some code. Right and what the code is saying. If you look into this. These are some additional conditions we have added. If path name is forward slash. And if token is there. Then I will take you to the dashboard page. If path is forward slash and token is not there. Then I will take you to the sign in page. So that is uh, fairly simple to know. Uh, and then redirect. So here we have just a simple dashboard. And uh, this is the restaurant. So this is just a simple template which we have copied from the uh, from the dashboard admin. Like couple of buttons, couple of text and then right uh, there you can start doing your actions. Okay, so this is restaurant page.tsx. So now we are on the restaurant page. So restaurant, I created another route, which is add restaurant. Because inside a restaurant, we can have add restaurant, update restaurant or list restaurant, all these particular paths. So we need to figure out the layout because this restaurant pages are inside the dashboard. So there is a dashboard layout. So restaurant can also have its own layout, which is going to have a multiple pages like add restaurant, update restaurant, list restaurant. These can be independent pages. But that's uh, we can we cannot render these nested uh, pages. We can render these only if we have layouts available. So there is a root layout, which is rendering the sidebar, header, footer, and then there is a body content. Similarly, what we are going to do is we are going to have a simple another layout at the root that uh, on the top, top there are two buttons. And after that, whatever is coming up, that is based on the route. Okay, so this is like a simple div we have and then we have to render the children's. So this is the layout. Uh, we will get rid of uh, these imports. I just, just copied the layout uh, page and inside a layout page, uh, this is how we are doing it. We can just add a JSX. Okay, this is the content which I wanted to render. This is not a root layout. Here we are just creating a custom layout for this particular path. So this add or update or delete restaurant can be a part of a nested view of the dashboard restaurants. So when you click on forward slash restaurant, there I should be able to manage all those things like at least tag things, add restaurant, update restaurant and uh, delete restaurant. So this is how I have created a simple layout of the restaurant pages that it will render first these two buttons on the top and then in the bottom all the children's. Okay, so that is for the restaurant. This is the custom layout we have created and that will be used by page.tsx uh, like the component. 
whatever is being rendered on the restaurant page. So now we will just uh, it it is just a dummy uh, card components where I'm just trying to show all the 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 restaurant so as as a tile so when you click on it to it it will take you to the restaurant and there you can manage all the food menu items being uh, which are available for the restaurant and there are other pair attributes also which we can update for the restaurant there are uh, different different fields okay so here uh, we have page dot tsx so we can just copy it so this is the component which will render when you hit forward slash uh, dashboard pay, uh, restaurants so we are going to use this layout and a page dot tsx and here you can see i'm just on the restaurant and it is using the same layout and adding the restaurant part in the body okay so this is what it is being done as a root layout and i have created my custom layout here it, on the top there is a these are just buttons and in the bottom there is a component Okay, so page.tsx, it is just showing this. And here I, you can see when you cl click restaurant add, that means it will be an empty page. Empty page, but you can see the header. There are two buttons and the, the large text that is coming from the layout. So we are going to baseline this layout and all the pages will be created under it. So what we are going to do now is we are going to use a React Hook Forms because we already have our uh, most of the UI available and we are going to use this to create a forms. So there is some entry of data and we will persist it. So React Hook Forms is actually a popular library that can be used to create a simple forms. Here, this is the next part uh, because you have created a user by admin has created a user, you are able to log in through the you're able to do the login and then here in this we are going to manage like we are going to add, add a restaurant update and delete so there is some kind of a forms we need and here we are using react hook forms and it's pretty much straightforward when we are using it all different types are available like because in the form there can be input text field input text area uh, and uh, range input or uh, select drop down or date picker all these uh, different form components we always have so we can use this react hook forms to build that so use form is actually coming from uh, uh, use form is coming from react hook forms because it is purely a ho uh, hooks based so we got register and handle, handle submit from the use form and then we can write a jsx for this So here we are using React Hook Forms. That is uh, here, this is how we will register each and every field. Okay, register name, register email, register uh, uh, password. I mean, this is a simple onboarding about the, the restaurant. So the, the attributes about the restaurant is restaurant name, description, cost for two people, uh, food type, food menu, all those things we are going to uh, allow it in the form because we need to capture the data and then we need to create uh, this user in the database so that we know how to trigger the actions and update the data okay so here we are just creating a simple form for creating a restaurant okay when you submit it it should get created uh, in the database and how we are doing it when you when you are going to submit the form it will go to the next auth backend there will validate i mean if session exists and then only we should be able to allow uh, this service to the restaurant service because we need to uh, create the data right so this uh, request will go to the next js backend because there is an api route we need to create and then we will collect the data and then we will forward the same payload to the restaurant service because that's already there to create the, the restaurant to add a new user to the restaurant or new food food menu items and all so here we can also see how the form validations are done what are the different ways to capture the form values 
So here we are using React Fork Forms. That is also really powerful. Here we can also do some data validation before uh, we, we receive the particular data from the form. So if uh, there are different kind of uh, validations you can apply. In the template, you can just uh, use an expression to make sure that uh, there are some criteria has been added for each and every field of the form. So here, this is how we are going to print the error. Okay. And here, this is how we have registered each and every field, registered name, registered description, uh, food menu item. So here we are just correcting the form. So here we are just adding some uh, messages so that if something is required, it will be available. You can see here we have added this required thing, required value true message logo required. So if you're not passing it, it is going to say, okay, this is required and you cannot submit the form without passing this. So here, this is a simple uh, hooks we have created that is using use form. Now what we are doing is, this is a simple index component and that is using use form. Okay, just checking. So this is a kind of a simple form we have. And when you try to submit it, you can see there is a validation error coming because we have added the validations. We have added a required in each and every field of the sign of form. So whenever there is an error, then it will throw it. So this is like a React Hook forms in the next GSPs routes. So what is the next thing now? It's a simple form. We have added a middlewares, middleware which are protecting our API routes or the page routes. That means you cannot access dashboard until unless you are not logged in, right? Then we can create these pages, restaurant page, order page, payment page. Inside a restaurant also, you have to do a couple of uh, pages that can be, so inside this uh, restaurant, we have add restaurant, update restaurant, delete restaurant. These are the independent forms and independent pages. So when you hit a delete or remove, then it will render the set different component. Okay. Then there is a list forward slash. If there is a list of all the the restaurant which you have created. So when you click on to it, it will navigate you. So all the uh, administration stuff we can achieve from this. Okay. So that's all. What we just talked about is the next yes middleware that is important part and next yes form validation using React hook forms. React forms are powerful. Uh, 